This is the iPad application. Here the maintenance engineer is logging on to the application. You can see that it is possible to select a work center. Using the Sybase and Wide Platform synchronization parameters, we are able to push data out to the devices based on the work center the engineer logs in with. An engineer will only see operations attached to his work center and no others. On the tab bar, there is an operations list view, a notification creation view, and a visual view. More on this later. There is also a synchronization status to keep track of the integration via the Sybase and Wide platform and individual settings for the application. Now the engineer logs on, and you can see that they are logged on to a particular work center. Now we go to the operations list. The operations list has three views. Pending or waiting operations. Completed operations. And errors, which have been, not been accepted by the backend system. There is also a key to show what each priority icon means. Now we move on to the SAP system, where the scheduler is looking at a particular maintenance order or job, and will look at its associated operations in the backend SAP system. He checks the work center, the priority, and the location and the name of the piece of equipment. The supervisor then adds the operations associated with the maintenance order. The order is fixed fuse rotator belt. It's a real problem in a steel mill that the machinery itself keeps melting. Normally, the operations will be set from a standard list. Here we add three manually. The scheduler checks the name, the work center, and the estimated duration. Finally, the scheduler releases the order. This triggers an event in SAP, which pushes the changed data out to the Sybase Unwired platform, which caches the data and synchronizes it only to the eligible mobile devices, in this case, based on Work Center. We return to the mobile application where the maintenance engineer is checking the list of operations to do today. Meanwhile, the scheduler is releasing the operations in the back end system. The maintenance engineer then sees the operations pushed out to the mobile device. The engineer is able to click on the operation and see some information, including graphics, from the back end SAP system. Note the status of the operation is still pending and that the actual work duration has not been entered and there is no confirmation text. There is other information from the backend SAP system that may be useful to help the engineer complete his task. The engineer has now finished the task and must indicate that it is complete to the backend SAP system. He fills in the actual time spent and adds some text before flicking the completion switch and submitting the result to the backend system. Returning to the operations list, you can see that the operation has disappeared from the list of pending operations. It has now completed a round trip to the backend and appears in the list of completed operations. We can see that the completion data the engineer entered has been successfully saved. The business problem is now solved. Instead of an inefficient paper-based process, we have effectively mobilized the backend system and enabled the engineer to enter data directly into the backend system out on the factory floor. The solution is typical of the enablement stage of mobile application usage. And here we can see the SAP system where we can check that the data has indeed been synchronized to the backend system. Do you see that the actual work has been synchronized and that the status has been set? This particular task is now complete.